Is your team slacking? That's the question we've asked over 1,200 leaders and managers for the past 17 years. When people on your team are not contributing, they're not pulling their weight, literally. In a very first demonstration of this, people were pulling a rope. On average, people were able to pull 63 kilos of force per person. You put those people into teams of three, it goes down to 53 kilos per person. You put them in teams of eight, now we're down at 31 kilos per person. This social loafing effect has also been replicated in intellectual challenges, creativity tasks, complex reasoning, and it occurs across cultures, India, Japan, Taiwan, in addition to the U.S. I had an opportunity to work with the senior vice president at the Bulkmatic Transport Company. Brian's safety team at Bulkmatic was tasked with a really important project, how to install 500 smart drive cameras in their tractors and produce coaching clips and instill driver acceptance. The team had been working for several months, but there hadn't been any progress. The team wasn't engaged. Drivers were quitting. Team members were not showing up to meetings, and when they did show up, they came 60 to 90 minutes late. They hadn't produced a single coaching clip. The phone calls were wandering off in different directions. So Brian and I put our heads together and worked up a four-pronged intervention plan to increase engagement. Step one, develop a team contract. A team contract is a one-page, preferably half a page, mission statement of the team focusing on three things, the goal, the responsibilities, and the norms. Everybody signs, everybody commits. Brian called me the first day after he introduced the contract to his team. He said this was the most productive meeting the team had ever had, and it surprised him how much a simple tool could increase the engagement of the team. Step two, short, frequent meetings, as opposed to long, drawn-out meetings. The research is in. Teams work to fill their time. Brian's safety team noticed that the longer the distance was between the meetings, the more the team started to drift off track. So Brian started hosting more frequent, shorter meetings. And at each one of these meetings, they revisited the team contract. Step three, stand and deliver. Literally, every week, team members need to stand up and report out to the team what they've accomplished that week. Case in point, Google Ventures weekly Tuesday meetings. Everybody stands up and reports out what they've accomplished. The research is in. Teams that stand up are 34% more productive than teams that sit down. Step four, create a line of sight. When team members can see how they're having an impact on the end goal, they're much more engaged. Let me give you an example. This was looking at engagement in a fundraising organization. Three groups. One team had direct contact with the beneficiary. Another group read a letter from a beneficiary. And one group had no contact at all with the beneficiary. One month later, the group who'd had direct contact with the beneficiary raised 171% more money. So what happened at Bulkmatic? The safety team successfully installed 500 smart drive cameras on schedule. Prior to the intervention, they had only installed 60 after several months. And at-risk driver behaviors cut to only 5% down from high double digits. The team contract was a game changer for Bulkmatic. And it can be a game changer for your team as well.